Hello and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In today's video, we are going to look at a way to fix this days from this format to this format. Right now, we only have the month name and the year as two digit. We will be using the year function. So let me add it here so we can look at the parameters. So we have the date function accepts a year month and day so it means that we need to feed year month and day to the date function separately so let's say if we open up the date function here you can see we have the same parameters here so what we will do is we will create three different columns for year month and day so let's do that the year seems to be very simple so let's extract it we will use the right function to get the last two digits so we use right and then we select the cell and we say two this should give us the right two digits and if we convert this into value and you can see this is now right aligned and if we do control Z this is left aligned because this is right now being treated as text this is now right aligned which means that this is now being treated as a number let's paste it down below and you can see we have years for all of these lines let's extract a month now we can use left and three values let's paste it down and for a day we will simply use one which is very simple okay so far so good now the next thing we need to do is we need to convert these into numeric months so for example july will be seven march will be three so on so forth so let's do that right so let's fix the month for now so we will use date value function which accepts a date text so let's do that we get a value error what we need to do is we need to add one with it so let's do that and as soon as we do that we get a numeric date so if we convert this into date we see we get seven one twenty twenty four Similarly, if we drag it down, we should get the same value. So we get 8191. Now what we can simply do is we can use the month function and get the month number from this. So we get our result here. We can combine these formulas. So for example, we know that i6 is basically this. So we can simply copy and paste and replace this inside of i6. And here, if I remove this, we should still get our desired result let me remove these helper formulas or i'm just gonna keep these here for reference but this is how you can combine multiple formulas All right so let's create our desired formula here so let's call it date fixed and let's open up our date formula so we give it year month we have here and day we have here seems like the year we are getting is 1923 that should be 2023 right so what we will need to do is we will need to create another helper function here let's call it year fixed and what we need to do is we need to see if the starting value of this is 2 then we need to give 20 so it combines 2000 with the date so let's do that we create a simple if function and we say left of 1 equals 2 then we add 20 here else we will add 19 let's see what this results pulls up okay so this is actually two inside as a text so we need to convert this to value so let's wrap this inside of value and now we should get 20 okay so we get 20 here and if i change this to i'm just gonna change this to 19 and we get 19 here so i'm just gonna do Control z we get our year fixed here now what we will do is we will simply replace the year from e6 with k6 and we get actually this should be combined with the actual year so it should be 20 and this value and similarly 19 and this value okay now we get our fixed value and if we paste it down we get all of our correct values so we have 7 1 20, 23 it even picks up the correct different years so we have 3 1 20, 24. if you want we can combine these formulas so for example we know that the year is actually this value and this value uses this value so first thing we'll do is we will replace e6 with this so we simply copy and paste each instance where e6 we will simply paste that value so now you can see it is not depending on e6 anymore so even if i remove this value here we still get our correct result similarly for seven it's already in one formula one is already in one formula great you can even combine these into one formula so for example now we can simply replace k6 
j6 with all of this formula so let's do that actually j is using f6 as well so let's copy f6 and replace it here and now we see that it's not using f6 anymore so even if i remove this here and one is here we can simply replace one here and we get our formula here so let's remove these values here and you can see we still have our dates fixed as one formula this also tells you the importance of creating smaller simpler formulas and then combining them into one big formula once you're comfortable with it right that's it for this video i hope you learned something new if you want me to make videos on certain topics let me know in the comment section till next time happy learning